Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvania toy collector himself. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Power Rangers, Dino Fury, Blue Ranger, and some little figures I wanted to review for a while from the Power Rangers Samurai Mega Blocks series, blind bag figures. Before we look at all our figures, we're going to look at the Dino Fury box packaging. Got some nice artwork of the blue Dino Fury Power Ranger. Key inserts into the Morpher. Key inserts. And a whole bunch of other languages. Power Rangers. Blue Ranger. Dino Fury. Power Rangers. And a nice product shot of the Blue Ranger wielding his Triceratops swords, which are nice. And you can unlock noise-making features with the keys. I don't have the Morpher yet. First, I'm going to get Boom Tower, and then I'm going to get the Morpher, just to insert the keys. But that's all there is to say. For the package in, now let's look at our figures. We're going to start with the Mega Blocks. I sometimes use Lego pieces for stands. We got the uh, Samurai Green Ranger from Power Ranger Samurai. A really, really well done and really well sculpted little Samurai minifigure, if I do say so myself. Next on the list, we have the Red Power Ranger, and he is in his Shogun mode. And man, that is a good-looking Red Ranger. Sure, it's not posable because it's a minifigure. You can get the black box with the Super Samurai mode. Nice. Add on to the blade. I originally had a blade for this guy, too, but I lost it. Next on the list, we have the Super Mode Samurai Blue Ranger that would usually go with the Samurai Megazord. And not a bad looking Blue Ranger. We got the sword that, that folds to go into the Megazord so they can control it, which is nice. Some nice details with this figure. And we got good old Bulk. From Power Rangers Samurai. And Bulk was through the original Mighty Morphin series. All the way to Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And then we never saw any more of good old Bulk. Until they brought him back with Power Rangers Samurai. Shame really. He was the most goofiest character in all of Power Rangers. Yep. Goofy character. Next on the list, we have the bad, bad old Nylock. And man, this is a good looking little minifigure Nylock. I lost his original weapon, so I just gave him this custom little sword. So you can go chop chop some samurai if you want it to. But now we're getting down to the blue Power Ranger. We're going to look at the figure itself and then the keys. You get a bend at the elbow, which is nice. Bend at the other elbow, which you got to be careful with these figures or you'll break something. Full rotation on the joint. No hinge here, which is a shame. We can get a full rotation, which is nice. So you can go slash slash. Bend at the knee. Nice, right? But no other articulation except for it goes out that far. Given range of movement. So you can kick. He can bend his knees. And his head is on a ball joint. Yep, his head is on a ball joint. A tight ball joint. But still, a ball joint. And I love that. 
Now for comparison. Here he is next to his fellow wave mate, the pink Dino Fury Ranger. I reviewed this. One of my favorite items I reviewed. And of course, with good old Zato next to the Blue Ranger. I forget some of their names, but I remember this guy. His name is Zato from the planet Rathcon. And yeah, we got three epic Dino Fury keys, man. And these are good looking keys. Really well painted, really well sculpted. Sure, they're not as articulated as the ones in the show, but they look good for what they are. And that's all there is for this review. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And have a more phenomenal day, and this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.